Never before have we had to deal with all of these environmental toxins that we're exposed to constantly every day. You know, the studies are really clear. Indoor air pollution is much worse than outdoor air pollution, uh, depending on where you live, but very common throughout the United States. What does that mean? It means that you're breathing more toxic air in your house. Well, my air is okay. Really? You ever watch, you ever see the sunlight coming through the window at the right angle a time of day and you can see dust in the air? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you're sucking in the dust and that's the phthalates, the, the plasticizers, the chemicals used to mold plastic off the plastic blinds. And that's the benzene off of the varnish on the headboard of the bed because that goes out into the air. So all of the particulate matter that we're exposed to is assaulting our body with these minor amounts. I'll give you one example of this, and then, and then we'll get to the microbiome. 346 pregnant women in Chicago, they measured their urine in eighth month of pregnancy, and they measured them for five phthalates, chemicals that mold plastic. Only five, there are hundreds, but they measured five. One of them, most people have heard of BPA, bisphenol A, the one that's in water bottles and credit card receipts and all that. So they measured it and they categorized them into fourths, the lowest fourth, so all those women that were in the lowest fourth of phthalates, the next, the third, and the highest. They then followed the children, the offspring of those pregnancies for seven years. And when the kids turned seven years old, they did Wexler IQ tests on the official IQ test. There's not much in medicine that's all or every, but this was every. Every child whose mother was in the highest fourth of phthalates and urine during pregnancy compared to the children whose mothers were in the lowest fourth of phthalates and urine in pregnancy, every child in the highest fourth, their IQ was 6.7 to 7.4 points lower. Now that doesn't mean anything to anyone until you understand a one point difference in IQ is noticeable. A seven point difference in IQ is a difference between a child working really hard, getting straight A's, and a child working really hard, getting straight C's. This child doesn't have a chance in hell of doing, excuse me, but of doing good in school because mom was loaded with phthalates during pregnancy. That now, just go to Google and type in phthalates and neurogenesis, brain growth. Here come all the studies how these plastic, plasticizer chemicals inhibit brain development and nerve growth. And there's the outcome seven years later. Because mom, you know, a healthy mom, lived her life pretty much, you know, like everybody else, but she started putting nail polish on when she was five years old. And the phthalates and nail polish leach in your bloodstream in five minutes. Now, there's no evidence that the amount of phthalates that leach into the bloodstream from nail polish within five minutes is toxic to humans. That's how they get away with this. Because there's no evidence that minor amount is going to harm you. But it accumulates in the body. So give me 25 years of mom putting na nail polish on. She's now 28, 30 years old. She started when she was five years old right? These minor amounts that accumulate plus all of the other chemicals that we're exposed to that accumulate 280 chemicals in the umbilical cord blood of every child born now. You know, give me all of those chemicals. Now you've got a mom that's got a real problem in developing a healthy baby in uterus and nothing to do with her genetics or dad's genetics. This is environmental triggers that have been accumulating in her body. You know.